Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra and on this platform I have been documenting my healthy hair journey for a number of years now. I was relaxed and then I transitioned and now I am natural. And I usually upload to this channel when I've discovered something new that I'm trying out that I want to share or if there's been any updates to my hair care regimen. And I also talk a lot about coloring gray hair because I am a woman of a certain age so you'll find probably a ha at least a half dozen henna videos on my channel but in this video I wanted to share with you all two ingredients that I have been incorporating into both my wash day and then kind of a midweek moisture my midweek moisturizing day when I don't want to wash my hair again but my hair is feeling a bit dry and needs moisture. These two ingredients, it's nothing revolutionary. If you've been a part of the natural hair community, you have heard so much about these ingredients already. It just so happens that I had not really incorporated them in my own routine, but I am so glad that I have now. It's been a game changer. Uh, these two ingredients are apple cider vinegar and aloe vera. And we have heard so much over the years about the benefits of both. Uh, both of them being aloe vera, being just a great natural conditioner for the hair. Apple cider vinegar being a great treatment for the scalp and it has cleansing properties. And they they both have hair growth uh, properties in them. So a lot of people are grow aloe vera plants and they scrape the gel directly from the plant, do scalp massages, pre-poo with aloe vera. But then I also recently learned that both apple cider vinegar and aloe vera are both good for helping to close the cuticle. So someone like me that has more high porosity hair, that means that I lose moisture easily. I get a lot of moisture in on wash day. However, my moisture cycle is still a bit shorter than I would like for it to be. I don't have the privilege of having that, that kind of hair where I could use a, a gel or a, some kind of styling cream and my hair be moisturized all week like I see some other naturals be able to do I'll go out and I'll buy the same products I'll use them the same way and two days later my hair is like crispy dry <laughs> sometimes the next day my hair is really really dry so I decided that I would give these two things a shot in my wash day see if it actually works to help cute close my cuticles and see if I actually see a difference in my moisture cycle can I go for longer days and so these are the two brands of aloe vera this is the aloe vera juice that I have been using it's lily of the desert it's been around for a very long time this one is preservative free and you can get this at a whole food store on Amazon any health food store and probably just in your regular grocery um, or market where you shop for food and then I've been using this is the Kroger brand simply truth organic apple cider vinegar and this is raw unfiltered ACV with the mother but any brand that's organic um, that has the mother in it should be able to work. So I've actually been using these two together. Um, you wanna be careful with apple cider vinegar. You don't want to overdo it. Too much of a good thing is not always a good thing. And so because I don't want to alter or mess up the pH of my hair or my scalp or anything like that, I'm using more of the aloe vera gel, aloe vera juice, and just a little bit of the ACV. And so what I do on my wash day is I will shampoo my hair, I will deep condition. After I rinse the deep conditioner out, this is my first leave-in. So I actually do use leave-in conditioners. I know some people just shampoo, condition their, their hair, and they go straight to a styler. I still use leave-in conditioners, but before I apply the leave-in conditioner, I will apply this aloe vera juice and ACV mixture. And so I will fill it, fill it up pretty much all the way with my aloe vera juice. And then I'll add maybe about two to three capfuls 
of the apple cider vinegar. And when I say cap full, I mean just the size of the cap that actually comes on this particular bottle. And then I will shake it up really well. And then um, again, after I've rinsed out the deep conditioner, I'll section my hair in four sections. And I will literally just spray this on my hair. This happens to be a continuous spray bottle. And I'll just spray it through on my strands and then just do the praying hands method just to really soak it into my hair. Now, as I'm applying this to my hair, Honestly, I don't really feel anything different. It just feels like I'm getting my hair more, more damp or more wet. But when I use this first, then put in my leave-in conditioner, then use whatever styler I'm gonna use that day, I have noticed that my moisture cycle, like just the next day when I take my twist out down, my braid out down, my hair feels so much softer. <laughs> it feels like I have so much moisture. I know that there are definitely claims out there and statements and declarations that aloe vera juice and ACV will close the cuticle. I don't know if it's been backed by science or any of those things, but I definitely want to say that I am a firm believer because of how my hair feels. And it doesn't matter what brand of leave-in, what brand of gel, what, I mean, I've used every different kind of styler that I have in my stash. And when I use this before that, my hair feels completely different. There's not enough ACV in here where my hair smells like apple cider vinegar. And so that is a plus. <laughs> and I really feel like it just gives my hair that added moisture. And it also feels like this adds a bit of shine to my hair. The only downside to this, and it's not really a downside, but something that I wonder and I'm kind of questioning when it comes to styling my hair is, is it affecting the level of definition I would get? But for me, um, definition doesn't matter that much. As you all could see, this is a, a braid out that's a couple of days old and my hair will return back to the fro from which it came very easily and I actually don't mind it looking like this. I don't mind a bit of frizz. I don't mind the fro at all. Now my hair feels moisturized. It feels soft three or four days. I'm still not getting the full week but that's okay. I'm working with my hair and I just have to adjust and work with it as it is and I'm totally fine with it. So if my hair does start to feel a bit dry or if I just want to refresh my braid out, refresh my twist out, but I don't want to go through the process of shampooing my hair again, then I will use an aloe vera gel. Um, and so instead of just getting a moisturizer and putting it on my hair and retwisting, rebraiding, I will apply the aloe vera gel first. And this is just a container. I think this was formerly a Camille Rose <laughs> container, but I just cleaned it out and repurposed it to hold my aloe vera gel because the aloe vera gel that I have is in this big jug. The brand is skincare, um, something skincare naturals aloe vera gel and this is the consistency of it out of the jar and i keep both my aloe vera gel this right here as well as um my mixture of acv and aloe vera juice i keep them both in the refrigerator just to extend the shelf life of it but I will take some of the gel and apply it to my hair first. And then I will take whatever moisturizer that I'm going to be using and, um, and then put that on and then retwist or rebraid my hair or whatever. And then after I do that and then take my hair out, my hair is even more soft. <laughs> And it's even more just lush and wonderful to feel and to touch. And what I am hoping to really get out of this is not just to have moisturized soft hair, but I'm hoping that it will work hand in hand with helping me retain um, length as well as moisture because my ends have been like i've really been through a rough patch with my ends just being dry and having to trim them or click 
clipped them a little bit more than usual. And so I gave myself a really good trim about two months ago. Like I probably cut about an inch off all the way around. And so I'm hoping that incorporating this routine um, will help even my ends not be so dry and I can avoid uh, that brittleness and breakage and splitting. And, and another thing that I love with, you, with incorporating the aloe vera gel and aloe vera juice into my routine is I feel like it just enhances all the other products that I have in my stash. So when I've used a leave-in conditioner before and it was like, eh, it was okay, I go back and I reach for it again and it just works beautiful <laughs> it's like really great so now i feel like i don't have to trash things or throw things away that i'm actually getting my money's worth so um that's it for this video you all let me know if you have any comments questions disagreements put them all down in the comments below um, this is a small channel and so i usually respond to every single comment and if you found this content helpful give me a thumbs up share it with someone and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thank you all so much for watching i appreciate you and i will see you in the next one god bless